So it's currently 2.20 a.m. and baby girl woke up. So I'm gonna go warm up her bottle while daddy consoles her. He usually likes to talk to her. He'll rub her belly. He also play with her legs if he thinks she has gas. And now I'm back. I warmed up her baba and I also made myself some tea because, you know, gotta have that life of a parent. And now I get baby girl and I feed her. I try to talk to her um, to calm her down a little bit, but she has no patience. She wants to eat right now. Like, mommy, feed me. And then, of course, sometimes she may poo, um, which is normal. I don't change her diaper before I feed her because she's generally too fussy for that. So I feed her and then I burp her. So once I'm done burping her, I'll bring her to the changing table to change her diaper. Um, this is a two-in-one bassinet. She doesn't like sleeping in the bassinet. So we just keep it as a changing table and we roll it wherever we need it around the house. Um, I like to put a towel where she is laying because it's a plastic and it's cold and she doesn't like it. Also, we lather her butt with coconut oil. Overall, coconut oil is good, um, not just for cooking, but for your body. You can, it's a good moisturizer. So we just rub her butt with that, um, just so her when her poop comes out, it doesn't stick to her butt. And now it's time for me to pump. Um, so once I get baby girl settled in, I'll pump. And this is my Spectera 2. And of course, gotta have my tea. So this is my little pumping station in the middle of the night. And sometimes, even though I fed baby girl, um, she's still a little fussy. So what I'll do is I will give her a binky and just try to console her. Um, sometimes I even sit her in a bobby pillow so she can watch me as I pump. And now before I pump, I like to rub my um, breast with coconut oil. I was also told that basil helps with your milk supply. So what I do is I put some coconut oil in my hands and then I'll add a few drops of basil and mix it together by rubbing my hands and then I rub my breasts both sides and of course gotta have my tea because this thing is the bomb So I just finished pumping, um, 3.28 a.m. now, I'm running my water, so it gets nice and hot, so I can wash out the baby bottle. My left booby always makes more milk than the right booby. But let's see how many ounces we got. I always tap this yellow thing because milk comes out of it still. Every ounce counts. Wow. 
I get excited over this. Make sure I got every drop. So I just made three and a half ounces. I think I'm gonna have to start freezing my milk. I'll show you my little stash in the refrigerator. So this is my little stash here. Um, I probably need to come up with a better system but currently I have two three ounce bottles and then in the back I have a small bottle I think with just an ounce in it so what I do is I put the fresh milk that I just made I always put it in the back of the bottles that I currently have in the refrigerator and I also try to make sure that I always set up like three ounces of milk in each bottle so this is my little stash in here And now I'm coming back in the kitchen. It is 6 a.m. Baby girl woke up again. So I'm going to warm up a bottle. And of course, I look quite angry. <laughs> so as you watch me get her bottle ready. And of course, I make myself some coffee. My face just tells me that I don't want to be up right now. And I really want some more sleep. So I warm up her bottle, I um, of course get my breast pump parts together because after I feed her, I have to pump again. So that's pretty much the story of my life. Feed baby girl and pump my boobies. And I just grabbed the pot so I could boil some water for my coffee. I look so serious. And I use instant coffee. I don't have time to make fresh pot of coffee, so just instant works for me. I never really liked the flavor of instant coffee, but when you have a newborn, you just make do. So I suck it up because it's so much faster. And then I have this little spinner thingy to help mix the coffee and break it down while wait for the water to um, boil. And then of course I like to warm up a little bit of milk to add milk to my coffee. Oh, I can't forget my vitamins. So I take a lactation blend and I also take sunflower lactin um, just to help with my breast milk supply. And now I'm back in the room to feed baby girl. Oh, forgot the bib. I really like these bibs. They're like a handkerchief. I don't know what they're called, but they're really nice. So I just sit here, feed her. When she's done, I'll burp her. Pretty much the same routine. Feed her, burp her, and then change her diaper.
And that's one thing I love about that changing station I have. I could just roll that sucker anywhere. So it really makes my life convenient. And then on the bottom is a little storage. So I keep her diapers, wipes down there. And I also keep her bobby pillow bear. Um, Cause sometimes in the middle of the night if I'm pumping, she likes to sit in her bobby. So I gotta keep it handy. And then I'll just, you know, rock her standing up from her bottom before I lay her back down. Cheers! And now you see me back in the kitchen washing my breast pump parts and the baby bottles. Dishes never end. Now I'm going to the fridge to grab my water bottle. Um, I just, I try to gr drink a gallon a day, something I did while I was pregnant, and I continue to do because I was told that it helps with your milk supply. Gotta have ice, so I pour my water in the ice and then I refill up my gallon. And I have a water filter, so I fill up my water, drink some water, and then put the water in the refrigerator. Up oh, here, you see me washing dishes again. It never ends, I tell you. And now I'm going into the pantry to grab some oatmeal. Um, that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast. I grab my pot, I heat up the stove. Then I get a measuring cup. I pour the oatmeal into the measuring cup. So I have about one cup of oatmeal and I just dump it into the pot. That's how I make my oatmeal. I just dump all my ingredients in there. And then I get a cup of water and I dump that into there and put it on the burner. And then I have my sugar and I just eyeball it. And I love storing things in mason jars. So in a lot of my videos you'll see me have mason jars. And then, can't forget about the cinnamon. Now once I get most of my ingredients in there, I just mix it all up. And if I had um, vanilla abstract, I would put it in there, but I don't. Then I get the milk, and I just pour it in there too. Mix it all up again. I also wanted um, eggs this day, so I'm gonna make me some scrambled eggs. And I don't know about y'all how you make your eggs, but I just crack some eggs into a cup and mix it up. So now I'm grabbing some cheese to put into my eggs. I normally don't always put cheese in my eggs, but this morning I just wanted a slice. Mm. 
And now I present you my beautiful slice of cheese. Then I'm looking for a skillet to cook the eggs in. Mix, 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 mix the eggs, mix, mix, mix. Working hard there. And now I just change burners. I put the skillet towards the front and I add my butter to the skillet. And now I'm looking for my spatula to move the butter around. I don't know why I think if I move the butter around, it'll melt faster. Wait, 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 wait for the butter to melt. And now I dump my eggs to the skillet. I grab my salt, my pink salt, and put it in there too. And of course, gotta have the black pepper too. Mix, 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 mix it all up. And of course, mix the oatmeal too. I have my water my bowl of oatmeal because it's done cooking and I add chia seeds to my oatmeal that also helps increase your milk supply as well as what I've been told and I like to add some honey oh and you can't forget the eggs here's a close-up so I'll sit here at my table and eat my breakfast also due to COVID-19 this has become my son's desk. This is its notebook. This is his pencil and paper. And then over here, you'll see his laptop. So this is not a dining table anymore. It has become the table for homeschool. Guys, I'm not loving this homeschool situation. It gives me so much work to do. forget that I'm a mommy of two so I have to feed this guy say good morning good morning I'm surprised I'm it I'm the only one who's up same with my mom she woke me up but I ate something I ate something it's 8.59 Yes, it's 8.59, and I usually wake up until it's 10. That is my go-to, because I felt like a hamster, like I should have been yesterday. Well, yesterday I should have been sleeping like a hamster this night, but I wasn't. And also, the baby's not up. Daddy's not up. Well, the baby was up. But she went back to sleep after she ate her breakfast, so. Still counts. And that's all babies do. They eat and sleep. So when you're done with breakfast, guess what you have to do? Go to bed? No. I'm going to bed. Mm -mm. What do you think you have to do? I was literally burning in the fire. Yeah, it's my phone book. Homeschool. Yeah, I'm, 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 Why are you being homeschooled? COVID-19. And also, there is a joke. If you have COVID-19, is um, Amazon going to make COVID-19 Pro? Kids jokes. Don't get it. What do you have there? I see a drink and do 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 vitamins. I'm having pancakes and some eggs. Um, what else do you take in the morning? My vitamins, which I really hate. <laughs> but they protect you, right? Yes, they do protect me. Do you get sick a lot? No. Exactly. And we don't want COVID, do we? No. So, 
a good immune system is taking those vitamins. Right now. Let me tell you kids. If you ever see your mother coming, or if you ever hear your mother coming, fake sleep. That's going to always get you out of trouble. Fake sleep or high. Wait, what? Oh, and also, like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, and also, watch my mother's videos. She's a, she's a very great editor. Or however you say it. Watch them or I'm going to come after you. <laughs> so, um, baby girl started fussing again. At this point, it's 9 a.m., so I go back in the room to go get her. And of course, because I heard her, I warmed up her bottle ahead of time. That way, I can feed her right away. Say good morning. Good morning. She gets to stretch those legs. Finally. Look at her. This is hey, why. Good morning. This is why you should always have a baby sister. She is so soft. She is so cute. I don't know what to say. She's so adorable. And look at her little feet. Look at her hands. I'm trying to punch you. Say good morning. <laughs> She's like, if you don't stop. <laughs> oh, Bendito. <laughs> I'm going to feed you, Mama. Mommy. I'm going to feed you. Uh. It's okay. So I decided to change her diaper first before I fed her. So, of course, Big Brother wants to watch. But then I shoo him away so he can finish his breakfast and start his homeschooling. I also have a white warmer. Um, so in the morning, I'll bring her changing table out here and I kind of just park it right there next to the white warmer. Um, so during the day, she can have a clean butt with warm wipes kind of helps her not be so fussy. If I wipe her <laughs> with some cold wipe, she's even extra fussy. Now I'm back with her bottle and pretty much throughout the day I sit in this one spot um, this is where I'll feed her, this is where I pump, and of course you see my laptop there, so I'll be on the computer, um, sometimes editing uh, YouTube videos, looking at pictures that I took in of the baby girl on my camera. Um, that's pretty much my spot for the whole day, um, besides whatever other responsibilities that I gotta do. swag but um hello everyone <laughs> it's nine it's about to be 9 30. what are you doing your daily routine yeah my morning routine with baby girl and that's pretty much the life of a newborn they wake up you feed them and now they're back to sleep so 
So I give my sister her niece so when she's over here she likes to hang out with her niece and I'll just sit in my chair, I'll drink some water and pump and this is pretty much my morning routine with a newborn all the way from 2am to 9am.